Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of We View and Review. Where we view and review. We just came back from the Google office. <laughs> This right here, my friends, is the Google Pixel 2 XL. And this is a casing! So thank you to our friends at Google for sending us over this phone. It will be officially released in Singapore on November 15. Ta-da! Don't do it. <laughs> Don't tip the thing over. Okay, let's just slowly take it out. I'll give you the honors of doing the best part of any unboxing. Ah, the, the awesome, the peeling part. The peeling. It feels, it's, it's so satisfying, you know, like... Ah. It's like a banana. It's very appealing. While we wait for the phone to load up, let's just see what's inside the box. This is uh, the transfer port, I think. So this phone has a USB-C port. I think every smartphone now uses USB-C. It's going to take over the world. They have a... Uh, what is it called again? This is your audio jack adapter. So you have your typical 3.5mm jack and you don't have a USB-C headphone. So you put your normal head jack here and plug into your phone and ta-da! Every, every phone comes with a charger. Get oh, to charge your phone. This is the... Charge your head. So that's everything from inside the box. Uh, where was the casing just now? It's a new phone. You need to protect it as much as we can. So before we go in depth with the phone, do you want to know why Google is so cool? Because they gave me one phone. Yep, and they gave me another. And that's not all. They gave us another phone for the giveaway. So if you want to know how to win this Google Pixel 2 XL, all you have to do is just stay until the end of the video. <laughs> Don't skip, huh? So let's just jump onto the basic specs of the phone. This is an Android OS phone. It's six inch display and the glass is Gorilla Glass 5. So it's like anti-scratch. Like Gorilla, like Dan also like that. Oh, gorilla. so that's why you call it Gorilla Glass 5. Huh. I, I, I never thought about it that way. It's also water and dust resistant, IP67. It's not waterproof. Okay guys, just always tell me. It's you, not you don't, you don't go swimming, ah, suddenly swim, swim underneath no, for no, no, an no. hour or two. But it can be submerged for up to one meter for 30 minutes. You can go inside, take one picture, then come out. Right. Oh yeah, I never thought about it anyway. <laughs> this uses an octa-core CPU mm -hmm. with an Adreno 540 graphics and also has a 4GB RAM. Another thing I noticed about the display screen is that the wallpaper is moving. Like It's like you have the ocean in your hands, you know? So they say that this is right now currently the best smartphone on the market. Mm, not the just, best. Not just Google say one, huh? a lot of other people also a say A lot of references have said that this is the best smartphone on the market currently. And why this smartphone is the best on the market right now? Well, let's just check out the special features to find out more. Mm. First things first, the Google Assistant. Camera switch. Whoosh. Relax. Come back first. <laughs> Alright, so there's three ways to actually bring up the Google Assistant. First way is, so you just say, OK Google. And it comes out. The other way is you can squeeze the bottom. You can actually set up how firm you're gonna squeeze it. Maybe you're like not that strong, or maybe you're like lazy, you can squeeze a little bit or ha ha, you know. And the last one is you can just hold the home button for a prolonged period. Google Assistant helps you a lot. Like you can find places to eat, find places to go on dates. Actually, a lot. Let me give you an example. Where do I eat tonight? I found a few places within 1.1 kilometers. Mm, wow! Dan cannot eat in these places called the Chinese restaurants, so let's try. Uh, oh, right. Let's try, let's try a specific question. Correct, correct, yeah. Uh, where can I eat? That's halal. Yeah. I found a few places within 9.3 mm, kilometers. See? These are halal places. 9.3 kilometers, that's far, man, just to look for halal food. It does not just find nearest places to eat. It can help you find the nearest ATM, the nearest bus stop, it can even help you reply your text. And as you go along using your Google Assistant, it will actually recognize your voice. So when you first start out your Google Assistant, it will actually prompt you to say the word OK Google a few times. So Three that, times. To be yeah, like. so Google Assistant will actually recognize your voice. So now this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. The Google Assistant can now detect Singlish. Wow. Well, not now to be exact. Not when, now to be exact. When the phone comes out, they're going to put an update on. Correct. It'll be updated where your Google Assistant can understand Singlish. Singlish version of it, right? It actually helps us a lot because us as Singaporeans, right? You know, we're not so chim, right? We, we, we sentence things like, like example, I tell them, hey, where do you want to eat later? So how do you say it in Singlish? Go away, eat away. Ah, it'll actually reply you in Singlish and it'll understand you. Lepak ah. Easy apa? I, I don't think you'll understand lepak though. <laughs> Lipa is in the dictionary, you know that? Really? Yeah. So that's all we could say about the Google Assistant for now. And let's just jump on to the next best thing, the camera. The main specs. Back camera, 12 megapixels with 1.8 aperture, which means very high bokeh. You guys probably know that by now. Front camera, 8 megapixels. Front and back camera can record video in full HD. And both front and back lenses have 
portrait mode. Another cool feature is that it's able to capture pictures in low light. Wow! So especially like, you know, when you're in a karaoke room and it's very dark, just take a picture and it'll be very bright. It auto-processes your picture and so they'll be less grainy and it'll be more visible. This is, a, this is one of my favourite pictures because like, you know me, I'm young, I like to club, I go to Zook a lot, I go to different clubs and the most thing, uh, every time I want to take picture of my friends, uh, I have to like, uh, Sir Bouncer, can you please shine your flashlight at me? And they'll be like, oh, and I have to take a picture and it ends up shitty. But so, then, how about we both take a picture of each other when the portrait mode? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of you and you take a picture of me. Oh, so you take a picture of yeah, me yeah, first? Okay. Alright, now what's my turn then? Alright, now it's your turn. Alright, ready? Not portrait? Portrait? Not portrait? Portrait! So you have a choice of keeping the original photo or put it into portrait mode. So you're still wondering why this is the best phone? Well, because the camera comes with an additional feature. And this will make you decide uh, if you think this is the best phone ever. Because honestly, I see this, uh, I'm like, oh, what? I've never heard of this feature. You can only think about it. Yeah. You can never imagine it happening. It's the, it's the kind of thing that you think about like, mm, you, no one can ever do that. Exactly. But it's like, oh my god, they did it. They actually did it. Okay, guys, okay, okay, okay. The build up was really good, okay? <laughs> it's called Google Lens. Basically, this thing Google Lens, right? You can actually take a picture of any poster or anything, right? And it'll tell you what it is. So I have a clear idea of how it works. Let's just see, right? I got a milk carton right here. I'm going to take a front picture of it. But what brand is it? We don't know. So I just press this button right here. You'll scan the picture and you'll tell me the brand. Magnolia! Another example is that it works on name cards as well. So let's just say you're too lazy to type out the email address. All you have to do is just take a picture of the name card. So it instantly allows me to either send an email to amanda at theincentral.com or head down to the website at facebook.com slash theincentral. And another cool thing is that if you take a picture of a building... Like what building is it? What like building it is? Example, I'm outside at Marina Bay. I take, out, take a picture of the Marina Bay Sands. Mm -hmm. It will tell me the Marina Bay Sands. Here's another cool feature. Have you ever been outside and you hear a very nice song but you don't know what song that is? Now your problems are over because the Google Pixel can actually recognize the song. You don't even have to open an app or anything. Just straight away like, oh, this song is playing. It pops out on your screen. I'm a hands-on guy, so how about I show you? Come on, let's play a song. Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. If you don't know who this Ed Sheeran guy is, uh, double tap. It searches who it is for you. Look at that, look at that handsome face. Can I zoom in on it? You just try to zoom in. <laughs> Another cool thing about this phone that we sadly don't have because it's still in the works. It's a prototype, you know? But we saw it at the Google office. The only one in Singapore. No? The only one the in only Singapore one. is the Google Pixel Buds. So it's like a wireless Bluetooth earphone and it does not just help you listen to music. It connects directly to your Google Assistant. Mm. You can read out your messages real time. And this is the most important feature in my opinion. is the real time translation. Mm. It connects to Google Translate and seamlessly translate for you. Exactly. So for example, I'm travelling to Japan. This guy's a Japanese guy. I'm trying to ask him for directions, but he doesn't understand English. I don't understand Japanese. So how this works is that I'll use the earbuds and I'll give the guy my phone and I'll ask in English, where is the nearest train stop? It picks it up from the Google Pixel Buds because the, they actually have a mic on it. Like two mm -hmm. mics for the left and the right one. Then it will reply, uh, Watashi wa sashimi wo hai. <laughs> Oh, the, 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 the Sabura. The idea is that it will translate from English to Japanese and Japanese to English. You know, that's of all things, of, of all things, Japan. You know, I'm Indonesian. Why not in Indonesian then? So that's a very useful feature for all those traveling. And right now, it currently understands 40 languages, but it will learn more over time. Probably any Malay lah. Uh, maybe they have Klingon also. You know, Klingon, tulak, nak nak. Maybe, or maybe Chewbacca. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so that's all for the Google Pixel 2 Wait, Excel. wait, 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 Dan, you want to keep all the phones for yourself, is it? Yeah, why? Alright, the giveaway! So Vincent, please tell the lovely people out there how they can win themselves the Google Pixel 2 Alright, so here's what you have to do if you want to win this phone. Step 1, make sure you subscribe to our main channel and Dot Good Gamers channel. Step 2, follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page. Step 3, share this video. And lastly, tell us which feature you think is going to help you in life and how. Seems pretty reasonable. Everyone stands a chance to win this. Maybe you think the Google Lens will help you with it? Oh, I don't know. Well, honestly, what do you think will help me? I think the, your Google Assistant will help you in general because you Because I know friends, right? <laughs> because I know friends, I talk to the Google Assistant. There, I have a friend. And that's all for today's episode of Review and Review. Huge shout out to Google for sending us the Google Pixel 2 XL. So remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye! Review!